welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my lip injection experience. I get so many questions every single day about my lip fillers. I've been getting them done a little bit over a year, so I figured it was time to go ahead and make this video because it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Now, I'm not promoting lip injections to anyone who doesn't like it, you're against it, that's fine. You can exit out of this video. But for me personally, I love them. So I wanted to do a video all about my experience and maybe answer any questions that you guys have on lip fillers for those of you who are thinking about it or maybe who are just curious because before I got mine done, I watched a ton of YouTube videos on them and they really helped me get the courage to finally go and get my lips done. I have been thinking about it, I would say, for a year and a half or two before I actually went and did it. So I'm just going to go through my experience of lip injections and why I got them. And then I also asked you guys to send me questions on Snapchat. So if I have any Snapchat questions that I didn't answer, I'm also going to answer some of those. So the first time that I got my lips injected was September of 2014 last year. And I got one full syringe. Now she split it between my top and bottom lip. I mainly wanted the filler in my top lip because my my top lip was so much smaller but I still wanted my bottom lip to be bigger than my top lip because that's how they are naturally with most people your bottom lip is gonna be naturally bigger so I still wanted to look like that I think that when your bottom lip is fuller it looks a little bit more natural like I didn't want to get all the filler in my top lip and then my lips were like the same or my top lip was bigger I definitely didn't want my top lip bigger than my bottom lip because that's just not how my lips were before. So what she did is she put most of it in the top and then a little bit in the bottom just to kind of even it out. That way my bottom lip was still a little bit fuller. As far as pain goes, I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most painful, it's probably a 2 or a 3. I don't find it painful at all. It hurt the most the first time because you're not used to it, but I would still say maybe max a 4 or a 5. And I'm not extremely pain tolerant. My person might just be bomb, but it doesn't hurt really at all. Like the most pain you feel is a little bit of a bee sting when it gets towards the center of the lip. It's kind of like where the nerves are and it's kind of like it feels like it's pinching a nerve a little bit, but it doesn't bother me at all. Like I can sit there and I'm fine. Like it might kind of be like, uh, for a second, but then the pain goes away. Now at my place, she uses a cannula needle. If you can get a cannula needle, I highly recommend it. I don't think I'll ever go anywhere that doesn't use a cannula needle. And I hate needles, I hate blood, I hate all of that. But a cannula needle is a really long or a longer thin needle. So with the cannula, they just go one hole at the top, one at the bottom on each side. Whereas with the other needles, they're a little bit thicker, I believe, they're a little bit shorter. And with those, they poke holes all around the lips and that causes more trauma. The cannula needle causes less trauma to the lip so little to no bruising and not as much swelling. Now, I am extremely prone to bruising. Like, I get random bruises all over my body, don't know where they came from. So I thought my lips were going to be awful. I have never bruised from the cannula needle ever, which says a lot. Like, it is not painful, and it doesn't cause as much trauma. So I highly recommend the cannula needle. Now, I have used a regular needle a few times. She will use a regular needle once in a while towards the top if I want to kind of shape up here because the cannula needle, like I said, goes in on the sides. So if I want a little bit of plumpness, like at the top, she'll use a regular needle, and that does hurt. I would say that's more towards a six or a seven, like, I couldn't deal with that all over my lips. I think that would be extremely painful. So definitely say go with the cannula needle. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of actually injecting them. So what they do is they put an ice pack on the side they're going to inject first, and then she will inject a pain numbing, I guess, serum or whatever it is. So she will inject it and you feel like a little bit of a poke, kind of like when they poke your finger when you give blood, and then it's numb. Then she will go in with Juvederm. I get Juvederm in my lips and she will inject that. And the Juvederm also has numbing, I don't know what it's called, numbing cream. I mean, it has numbing properties in the actual Juvederm. So you're getting the numbing cream or the numbing filler plus the Juvederm that has numbing properties. So when she is injecting the Juvederm, I can feel my lips moving, like I can tell my lips are being pushed, 
but I don't feel any pain. A little bit towards the center of the top lip and on the bottom lip. So my lip naturally on the bottom has a little bit of a divot, like a little bit of a line. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed. When I wear lip gloss, you can notice for sure. And when my lips are just bare with like a lip balm, anything that's reflective, my lip kind of divots in the center on the bottom. And I wanted to keep that because that's how my lips are. So she tries not to inject anything to the center of my bottom lip. And then after she's done, she'll take like a Q-tip and just push down in the center to like push the filler away from the center because I like that little line that I was born with so I wanted to keep that so that's something else that she does for me I also tell her to kind of shake the cupid's bow a little bit like I said she'll use a regular needle for that and I don't like to go too far above she went a little bit too far above last time I got them done the last time I got them filled was in August I believe it was like the first week of August but I'll get into all of how much I get in a second so after she injects the full syringe between my top and bottom lip she lets me look at it see if I like it and sometimes they can swell uneven it takes two weeks for them to heal and I mean two weeks like it will go a week and you're like okay they look great they're done but I'm telling you, on the 14th day after you get it done, they go down a little bit more. Like every time I've gotten them done, I think they're done swelling before two weeks, but then they go down always a little bit more at the end of the two weeks. I would say definitely don't have anything special planned for at least three to four days because the next day it's even more swollen and then the next day sometimes it can swell a little bit more and after about the second day the swelling really goes down. I know the first time I got mine done um, I went out the day after. Um, I went to dinner with friends and I just wore lip gloss. I didn't want to wear any lip stick or anything but I just wanted something on my lips. You always want to keep them hydrated during this because you know, your skin is being exposed and your lips are bigger and not as small as they were before. So you want to keep them hydrated, keep that skin looking fresh. I feel like that sounds really gross, but you want to keep them hydrated. So after the first time I got them done, they did hurt a little bit that night. Like I remember trying to eat a salad. It was like maybe two hours after I got them done and the numbing had worn off and it just felt like there were little bee stings inside of my lips and it feels so foreign it feels so weird um, for the first I would say two to three weeks after I got them done it just felt bizarre because you can feel that there's a substance in your lips and it doesn't feel normal you're just not used to it now when I get it done I don't feel it at all like it feels like my natural lips they're really soft they're not hard but the first time I got it done it is a little weird because you're not used to it. So the first time you get your lips injected, they only last usually three to six months, but as you keep going, they'll last a little bit longer. So for me, I got them done in September, and by the first week of December, I felt like it was pretty much gone. And when I got them done the first time, I didn't say anything to you guys because I wanted to make sure that I liked them first. But when I got them done the second time is when all of you guys noticed, and I got tons of comments, um, when I just got one syringe, I liked it at first, but I liked it when it was swollen and then it healed and I just felt like they weren't as big as I wanted them. So if you're wanting more of a natural look, I would say go with one syringe and split it between the top and the bottom. So it had been almost three months for me and I went back to get more. And when I went back in December, I got another, I think it was three quarters or a full syringe split between the two again. So since I didn't get all of my filler in my lips at the same time, I went in September and then in December, my lip fillers dissolve at different times. So instead of going maybe once or twice a year, I go, I would say three to four times a year because my filler dissolves at different points, if that makes sense. So I like to have usually I feel like one and a half syringes is good for me because when I got them done the second time I probably had maybe still half a syringe left in my lips and that was like the perfect level for me so I've gotten my lips done twice this year I think I got it done in March and then I got it done in August and then I don't know that I'll go again this year if I do it'll be like around Christmas time but if not I'll definitely wait till like January or February before I got them done in August they were pretty small I was overdrawing them a lot but I didn't have any wrinkles on my lips so it didn't alter the shape of my lips because I know people have asked like do you get wrinkles are they gonna look deflated my lips look like they always had so this is a temporary thing as far as price goes I don't care to share with you guys what I pay because I feel like it's pretty much around the same everywhere that I've looked even in like California Florida New York whenever I looked up reviews on people who had gotten them done most people pay around the same price 
where I go, it is 600 for one syringe, and then I think it's 300 for a half because you can also split them up. So obviously I paid 600 when I got the one syringe, and I think I paid a little bit less than that when I went back in December, and then I was good until the next year. And when I go now, I feel like I usually pay around 400 which it's expensive it's a lot of money but for me it's worth it it's the only thing I've ever gotten done to my body or face or anything where I go they also have reward points through Juvederm and also through their office so last time I went I think I got like $200 off or something so you do get reward points and that helps but most places I feel like are anywhere from 400 all the way up to I think like a thousand I feel like the place I go to is right in the middle a lot of people always ask do I think it's worth it absolutely it makes me so happy and so confident and it's not like I was unhappy with myself before I mean growing up I never saw an issue with my lips it was never an insecurity but once I started getting into makeup I just felt like everyone had big lips except for me and you guys know I'm a lipstick junkie I'm a lipstick lover and I love myself the way I was however I wanted big lips so bad like I would use every lip plumper I could find I was always trying to overdraw my lips and it's a temporary thing. It's not permanent. And I really, really wanted this so bad. I had thought about it for so long. And I'm so, so happy that I did it. As a makeup artist, it just makes makeup so much more enjoyable for me. Like, I have so much space to wear lipstick. And it really did kind of transform my face. I always get people asking if I got a nose job. Tell us about your nose job. I've never had any plastic surgery. Lip injections is a cosmetic procedure. I don't consider it plastic surgery, but I've never gone under the knife for anything. So it amazes me. And even when I look back at my old videos, I'm like, my face looks so much different. But the only thing different is my lip injections and I'm older now. I mean, I was a baby when I started my channel. So now I'm gonna go to Snapchat and answer some of your questions. How did you decide which doctor to go to to go and get your lips done? Also, you inspired me to get my hair cut short. I got it done today. It suits you so much. Oh, work, girl. Okay, so how did I decide what doctor to go to? I looked up, I think it's called realself.com. It's all about experiences for like plastic surgery, lips, any kind of cosmetic procedures. And the place that I went had amazing reviews. Whenever you're looking for a place to go, ask them for pictures, look on their website. My place that I go to didn't have that many pictures online, but at the office, they had tons of before and after pics. And I just got such good vibes from her. She made me feel so comfortable. I go to an accredited plastic surgery office I know there are some like clinics and spas that do it but I don't know that I would feel comfortable going somewhere like that and the lady that does mine specializes in lip injections that's all that she does is lip injections and fillers so she's really talented and she's had a lot of training and I just feel so comfortable with her but I have heard horror stories from people who go to clinics or like spas that do it and it's scary you want to make sure your doctor cares about not going too big or, you know, not hurting you. Uh, can you please tell us, like, what lip balm you're always wearing in all your Snapchat space? Okay, so the lip balm that I always wear, this is my favorite lip balm in the world. I have it sitting right here. It's the Aquaphor. This is the healing ointment, but I usually get the lip repair. I don't really notice a difference between any of the ones that I've tried. I think they have one with SPF as well, but this stuff is hands down amazing. They actually use this on my lips at the doctor's office when I get them done, so that's why I got addicted to it, but it's Aquaphor. I get mine at Target or Walgreens. Is there anything that you don't like about your lips? Anything I don't like about my lips, the only issue I've ever had was the last time that I went, she kind of shaped them a little bit too much at the top, like a little bit above my lip. I don't like that look. I just kind of had to deal with it. I feel like it's pretty much gone now, thank God. But that's the only thing that I'm not really fond of. Like I don't want there to be too much shaping above, but whenever I put my lipstick on, it looks fine. But besides that, no. I've loved it every time. What did your mom think about when you got your lip injections? Did she support you in every way or was she against it? Love you, man. Love you too. So I actually didn't tell my mom that I was getting it done because I was nervous, but my mom watches my videos religiously, so I knew she was going to find out. And she kind of nonchalantly brought it up and was like, your lips are getting too big. Don't do that. My mom isn't against it but she doesn't want me to do it. Like my mom, she's my mom. She loves me the way I am. She doesn't want me to get anything done. And I was like, mom, it's just temporary. It's something I really like. 
but yeah, my mom loves me the way I am. She's okay with it now, and she's really supportive of it now, but my parents saw me when my lips were swollen in August, and my dad was making fun of me so much, like, why are guys so mean? And my mom was like, stop, like, stop, Steve. My mom was so mad at him, but yeah, my mom doesn't care now, but at the beginning, she was just like... You shouldn't do that. The thing that I want to know is when you first got your lips done, did you tell people that you got them done or did you just, you know, have bigger lips? I told a few close friends that I knew wanted to get them too and then I told my boyfriend and that was it. I didn't tell anyone else. Now I do if people ask, it doesn't bother me. I was at the mall the other day and a woman working at Mac was like, I need to ask you something really rude and I was like, okay. She was like, are your lips real? And I was like, no. She's like, they're too perfect. I knew they couldn't be real which is sad but it doesn't bother me now like I don't care to tell people that I get lip fillers thought about anything else that you would like to do like other fillers you would like to get on your face or any other surgeries so there is nothing that I want to do to my face. Um, I have seen lots of fillers lately on Instagram of people like contouring your face with fillers and I think it looks insane. But I mean there's nothing I feel like I can't fix with makeup on my face except for my lips. I used to try to overdraw my lips when they were smaller and it looked totally fake just the way my cupid's bow was so that's why I wanted to get my lips filled. But I mean... There's nothing else. I have a huge forehead, whatever. I have big cheeks, I contour. My nose, I contour. So I don't think I would do anything else to my face, especially like my face terrifies me to get anything done. I mean, when I get older and get wrinkles, I'll probably, I think it's what Botox they put to help with wrinkles, probs doing that. But besides that, no, there's nothing, no surgeries or anything that I want to do. Hey Amanda, I just wanted to ask, how many sessions have you gone to go get your lips done? And yes. does it hurt? I love you. Love you. So how many sessions? I've gone four times total in a year and a half. The two times at the end of last year when I wanted to get them the size that I wanted and then twice this year for upkeep. Okay, so my question is, do you prefer mattifying lip glosses or like shiny love you <laughs> love you too so I definitely prefer matte lips now that my lips are bigger whenever I had smaller lips I was like lip gloss queen I always wore lip gloss because it made my lips look bigger now when I do wear lip gloss now I get so many compliments like I wore a gloss to the mall last week and everyone was complimenting me and I was like okay but I just like the way matte lipstick looks especially liquid lipstick I love the way it looks on bigger lips because it's just so clean to me if that makes sense so I definitely prefer liquid matte lipsticks so I don't have a question but you're so flawless and I oh seriously my. always show people your lips and I'm like I want my lips to look like her it's just like her Thank you, that's so sweet. Hey Amanda, you are my favorite beauty guru. Um, my question is, did you have a vision of how you wanted your lips to look and how did you convey that to your plastic surgeon? I want lip injections, but I'm scared. Just bring in pictures. I had tons of pictures from like Instagram and online of what I like and what I don't like. And I told her, you know, like, I don't want filler in the middle of my lip. I don't want my top lip to be too big and too pronounced. I don't want it to be the same size straight across. Just tell them what you like, show them pictures, and then they'll get an idea. And just make sure you really communicate with them what you want. So that is my lip injection experience. I really hope you guys found this video helpful for any of you who are thinking about doing it. If I didn't answer any questions that you have, please let me know down in the comments. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.